Since Dwayne Wade left Marquette for the NBA in 2003, his legacy has stretched far wider than the boundaries of this Milwaukee campus. If you go anywhere in the United States and mention Marquette University, Wade's name is quickly brought up. When the legendary guards Miami Heat paid a visit to the Bradley Center Saturday, I talked with Wade about his name and how it has become synonymous with Marquette. You know, when I came at this university, um, you know, I looked up to, you know, the guys before me, the George Thompsons, the Bush Lees of the world, and the Dean Imagers. I just wanted to bring them to, to do my part to represent the university well. So if I've done that, um, I'm, I'm excited and I'm happy about that. Hopefully, you know, in years to come, I, my name will continue to be, you know, you know, the name that people think, one of the names that people think of when they think about Marquette basketball, but it's so many. I think it still definitely resonates today, and you can see that in the toughness of this team. I don't know if you've gotten a chance to watch them, but they had uh, quite the run last season and a lot of tough behind Buzz Williams. What do you see in Coach Williams and with this team, you know, similar to the team that you had in that Final Four run? Well, first of all, it's, it's in the fabric of Marquette basketball to be tough, to play tough, um, and not just, a, you know, rely on talent, um, to rely on, you know, heart and grit. Um, and, you know, this team has that fight, you know, even though, you know, they're, they're undersized, um, you know, they don't have that center that we had. We had the luxury of having Robert Jackson and Scott Merritt, which helped us a lot. Um, but they have fight and they have grit. And um, today seemed to get a good win they, up against Connecticut. Uh, it was fulfilling. Marquette was called Warriors the last time they were in the Final Four. They are Golden Eagles now. Wade is always quick to credit those around him for his success. When I asked him how tough it must be to keep in touch with former teammates, he assured me those friendships that he made in college are still vitally important, and one event this summer was especially gratifying. The Hall of Fame dinner was great. That we got all got a chance to get in the same room again, you know, with all our coaches and you know, whole staff. It was it was a walk down memory lane. Um, you know, of course, we try to talk, you know, as much as we can, but you know, we we all have different lives. Seven years removed now from Marquette, and uh, but you know, we do you know talk here and there, and apparently, so especially when we play each other in different cities. So you know, it's always good to see the other guys that you know I went to battle with you know, at Marquette and to see them guys in the NBA and even guys like Wes Matthews who are now in Utah to see him in the NBA, you know, I'm always proud. Matthews and Wade both played under one of the most beloved coaches in Marquette history, Tom Crean. Although his move to Indiana almost two years ago wasn't exactly met with great acceptance from the Golden Blue faithful, Wade made it clear. Coach Crean's body of work at Marquette will always be appreciated. He did an unbelievable job here at Marquette and gave me 11 years of his life. And, you know, I think, um, you know, it was time for him to move on. You know, everyone didn't love it. Um, you know, he has a, um, a challenge on his hand, and um, I think that's what he lives for. So to rebuild that program back to, to what it was, it's going to take time. But if anybody can do it, you know, we know our coach can, just like he did here at Marquette. In the brief time Crean and Wade spent together in Milwaukee, they put the Golden Eagles back into the national spotlight for the first time in decades. So it's clear to say that returning to the Bradley Center never gets old for Dwayne Wade. Just to come back and you know feel the family atmosphere. Um, I always look up in the stands and see the things that we did here at Marquette, you know, with our final four banner up and um, I have the opportunity to see my, uh, my, my pitcher, you know, up next to some of the Marquette grades and, you know, it's always special. As the legend of Dwayne Wade in the NBA continues to grow, number three's legacy at Marquette will always be embraced. Wade is not just a pillar of excellence in the sporting world. Like so many others here in the Midwest, he is Marquette. From Milwaukee, Brad Galley, MUTV Sports.